Hello, this is Chris Smith here, author of Smitty on Baseball, talking about the Boston Red Sox. I'll be doing these video blogs here regularly um, up until spring training and throughout the Red Sox season as the Red Sox season unfolds. I'll be bringing on guests like Bill Burtz, editor of the uh, editor of the sports uh, department, and um, he'll be joining me hopefully sometimes and you know writers like Dave Willis and, and Steve Palladino who's a big Red Sox fan hopefully I'll be able to get them on but today I'm flying solo it is Christmas Eve so Merry Christmas to everybody it just turned Christmas Eve it just passed midnight here at the paper and uh, but I wanted to answer the question and hopefully everybody has their shopping done I don't have all my shopping done I still have to shop for three more people so wish me luck there but right now I want to answer the question, are the Red Sox the team to beat in baseball with the acquisition of Adrian Gonzalez, with signing Kyle Crawford, Bobby Jenks, Dan Wheeler, are they the team to beat? And I say yes, but with a with a big if. If the pitching can respond better than it did last year, um, you've got John Lackey and Josh Beckett who definitely need to have better seasons than they did last year. That's a big concern. Those guys need to pitch better uh, for this team to be successful this year. I think that that's a big question mark right there. The bullpen, I think that you're really going to like Bobby Jenks. He's a guy that, um, that you know, he, he's, he doesn't get intimidated. He's a very, I think he's going to become a fan favorite here at Fenway very quick. Um, he's, you know, he, he throws hard at me. He's lost some speed on his fastball, but he's still a fireballer back in the in the back of the bullpen that can uh, complement Daniel Bard and and, um, and and John Papelbon is a closer, and uh, John Papelbon will stay the closer, as Theo Epstein said. And um, I think that people are going to really enjoy him. Now his whip, his walks and hits per innings pitch has increased over each of the last three seasons. He's allowed more hits and more walks each of the past three seasons, but his strikeout rate has decreased, and that's one thing that, um, you know, I'm sure Theo and, and uh, the Red Sox wanted in relievers is, you know, he, he was above 10-point-something strikeouts per nine innings last year, the most that he's had in a, in a few years, and so that's one positive. He's a fireball that can really, uh, you know, set up games for the Red Sox. Sox maybe close some games if, if John Pavlon is 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 um, you know unable to go in, in a game because they've won three or four straight and he's closed out three or four straight and so um, I think that the improvements in the bullpen are really um, you know are really going going to show this year I think the real question mark remains how Josh Beckett and John Lackey will respond. Um, are the Red Sox the team to beat? I mean, look at Philadelphia. They've vastly improved themselves, too. Cliff Lee is, is um, a great addition, a great signing by them, obviously. Um, no one really expected, uh, no one, everybody thought it was going to be Texas or Yan the Yankees that Cliff Lee would go to. And all of a sudden, Philadelphia came in the last second, scooped uh, Cliff, Lee, Cliff Lee away and, uh, you know, took him to their team. And, uh, you know, it, I think the Red Sox are the team to beat in the American League East. Um, the American League, I think that the Philadelphia Phillies are the team to beat in the National League. Um, that might make the um, All-Star game that more and more important this year. Who wins it um, to get that home field advantage? Um, you've got a great rotation in Philadelphia with Roy Halladay, Cliff Lee, Roy Os Oswalt, um, Cole Hamill. I mean, those are four guys that have proven that they can pitch well in the postseason. I think it's going to, uh, you know, to, they're going to really shine. They're going to be difficult to beat. Um, but, you know, it's, again, um, you know, the Red Sox, I believe, are the team to beat in the American League. In the American League, they've made the improvements to their team, and they have had a vastly better offseason a tremendously better offseason than the New York Yankees. Um, and that, that was very important after uh, a couple of years here where things have been really down, the, the TV ratings have been down, the excitement level has been down. I think it was important to have a big bang this offseason, and I think that they don't only, not only made a big bang, but they're going to make a big bang in the regular season as this team has vastly improved itself talent-wise, and uh, it should be an exciting year. So again, we're going to be doing these video blogs. I'm going to be bringing people on with me today. I flew solo. Hopefully, I did a decent job. It's a little late, so if I said anything, you know, don't kill me for it. But, um, 
you know, hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you enjoy your Christmas. Have a good one. Happy holidays. Chris Smith here with the Eagles Tribune.